Good afternoon, and welcome back to Cosmetia for a second stream today. Yes, I'm doing a second one because I really want to actually get to launching bigger ships and doing stuff. So here we are on the load screen. We're going to go to a load game. You can see, yep, that's when we finished it a little, little bit past one today, and we're going to load that up. So today the whole uh, plan is to launch the Catapult, the first reasonable sized ship. It's still not huge. I'm only going to call it reasonable. Uh, but it will be a rail ship. It's going to be a rail gun ship. And it's going to replace the Kestrel here. Uh, mainly replacing it because I don't necessarily have the crew to do more than just replace ships. So we're full on iron. We could use some more copper. Uh, we do have the necessary uh, Tritanium, I believe, as well as we've got a little dollars in the bank in terms of the, uh, oh, whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit, um, diamonds, diamonds, that's the word, that, that was the word that I was looking for, okay. Uh, in the last stream, we did upgrade the Trodoc. It's starting to take shape. It's still very kind of shapeless. It's basically a flying box at the moment. I want to fix that. Trodoc's going to end up looking, looking kind of industrial, which it already does, I guess, just being a box. But we'll widen the gap here so that it's kind of a like a twin sort of pylon shape out the front. And we'll add some stuff in the back. So, yeah, maybe put some wings or some make these thruster clusters a little bit boost boosted so it it forms a bit of a shape it can be visually appealing as well as um, as well as uh, practical so let's just increase the speed as well because no point there's nothing in between these two points for us to slow down for going out to speed one the kestrel can run up here the velociraptor is got to the side now the kestrel is the one that's going to be upgraded soon as well so we just had a chat to Tulemo station and see what's going on right uh, we can't sell much what do they want they want sulfur and hypercoils how many hypercoils do they want they want 40 I think we can accept this one and sell them 40 hypercoils pretty sure that's not gonna bake right there break the bank. It's not going to bake it either. There's no baking involved here. Uh, so that will give us a little bit of extra money, which is nice because I think it might be enough to get our sensor array. Boom. That's the last part that we needed for the catapult. So let's go to the Kestrel now. Uh, just go to the build repair. And sorry Kestrel, this is uh, this is our last look at you. You've been, you've been a fine ship. We haven't used you much, but you have been a fine ship. Uh, now we're going to load the uh, and replace existing. We're going to grab the catapult here, and there it is. Uh, it is going to. Hoping that doesn't cause an issue. Make, trying to make it spawn on top. Right, so we're a few parts short, and specifically we're some money short. Right. Um. So what do we actually need to buy? Hypercoils, I just sold some, that was a bit silly. Steel, interestingly enough. Um, and a processor. The hypercoils are the worst offenders. So we may not be able to replace it just yet. Uh, until we just, I think we'll go up to this asteroid field and just load up on some copper. Because that seems to be our limiting factor here. And what was it? Steel. So I have a bunch of... Make that into a steel bunker. Uh, we'll make that into a steel bunker as well. We can start mining out those iron asteroids. We need, we'll need to buy a processor. But that's all good gonna have a chat to it and I might get the processor now and we can uh, we can launch it away from station it's the last one as well two and a half uh, thousand that's fine we'll initiate that trade and is there anything else we can buy here we can buy some copper we 
will get us on the way to our Harper Coles, but it's not going to be nearly enough. So we'll uh, we'll just take a hike, so to speak. Uh, put these guys back into formation, make sure the Trodoc is adequately protected, and we'll head up to this belt here. We're at the final stretch, though, for the launch of the catapult, and then we can go test out that ship. Ah, there's a nice iron asteroid here. Uh, yeah, we'll just grab a part of it. I'm not sure we're going to need all of it. Yeah, you speed it up now. Alright. Yeah, they're getting there. Fortunately, I want to deliver straight to here. I'm wondering if there is a way I can stop it from doing that. It would be nice. For whatever reason, they're loading up this bunker first as well. Fine. It's just going to take longer for everything to be processed. Uh, can we get a good handle on how much we have in storage? 7281, right? So for the Kestrel, we need 72900, so that's about to hit. Uh, yeah, it's, it's getting close, so I'll mine out some more. Back. We'll just let's take apart the asteroid. Let's just do it. Any wrecks out here? There's a couple. I might. Ooh, that was a TR. We'll want titanium. So we'll just mark that guy. And yeah, it looks like we've got some wrecks that are still yet to be disassembled from when I came through earlier. So, let's, uh, oh man, this is almost in pristine condition too. Blew out the cockpit from lots of things. So these guys can contribute towards the process of getting everything we need by mining. Wait for those to convert. In the meantime, the Velocity has picked up everything it needs here. And we can send it back. Um, make sure I don't miss these resources. It's okay if I miss a copper or two, but the, uh, the carbon and the titanium I definitely don't want to miss out on, and I want to mark up the uraniums too. I think I'm going to want a bit of sulfur as well as soon as we're done upgrading this ship. Oh, Kestrel can come down. Uh, how you going, man? You've got full bunkers now. All right, so how much have you got? Still need more. Make you into steel as well then. Man. Tough crowd. Tritanium. There's a little bit there. That's good. Piling them on in. All 
Alright, we are... Uh, no, no. Still at nowhere near capacity. doing we are nearly at the mark though so this has done it we now have the necessary steel so we'll wander up here and grab that titanium while we're in the neighborhood because we're going to use a fair bit of titanium on the um, construction of the catapult And then we're just gonna go look for some copper for our hypercoils. Now, I do wanna turn that hypercoil factory back on until we've got the necessary amount. So let's just check the necessary amount as well. So hypercoil wise, I need 435 as well as 163 coils. So I think what I should do here First, the Velociraptor is going to transfer resources to the Trodoc. It's going to send across its coils and hypercoils and other bits and pieces that it picked up. The Trodoc is going to transfer resources to the Kestrel and it's going to make sure the Kestrel... How much was it? It was at least 140. 163, right. So, transfer resources. They can send that across, they can send that across. Kestrel can send that across. Right, we're guaranteed to have on the Kestrel the necessary amount of coils now. So that means the Trodoc can do what it likes and with the copper, and it doesn't matter if I, I turn them into coils or hypercoils or whatever. Alright, we'll get some copper up here. Guys, go and get him. down here, so we'll grab that first before I forget about it. <clears throat> I'm going to run up here, grab this. Cool, we'll go up here, grab this guy. This guy next. Right, 
Okay, so how many do I need again? I need 435. Actually it looks like, yeah, it's just the processes that we need now. Why have I got insufficient processes? I thought I bought enough. Do the velocity, no. These, right, so we need two processes, which I can only buy, but I have enough things that I could sell to kind of contrary it. So I think that's might what well, might be what we end up doing. In the meantime, I might turn this off. Here we are going to strip the coffer from here, so I, I know I don't need to come back. This is going to deplete our resources ultimately. Like completely. But it will give us a ship, which means we can do some more combat. And I'm looking forward to getting back to that. After all, this game is not a mining game. Or not just a mining game. There next. Excellent. Go over here. Which is excitement. Or a whole heap of stuff. That's my stuff now. Yep, there is some. Grab that. And then we want to go down to this one. Well, so you can come down here, just have a look around. Yep, all good. Checks out, sir. So, Kestrel like that, Trodoc off to the side, I mean, uh, Velocity off to the side, and uh, let's go down to Tulumo Station. Have ourselves a good time. Alright, so, I believe I needed two more processes. I want iron and diamond. Ooh, I'm about to sell diamonds, so let's go ahead and accept that one. And then just go one, two, and initiate the trade. And then we get a bonus. Cha-ching! Okay, which means... Hopefully, we will be able to support two processes from that. I think we will be able to. There are no processes here. God damn it. Well, I don't think the Velocity and the Kestrel are actually any faster than the Trodoc anymore. So, we're just going to have to go down to our other station here.
And that's where we will launch the catapult from. Yes, I'm, I'm well aware of, you know, launching the catapult. It's, it's an incredible pun. Launch of the ship, launch of the catapult. Ha, oh, I'm so clever. <laughs> Hello, auto save. You are useful if I crash. Useless for any other purpose. And then we are going to go destroy the pirate base, by the way. In case you're wondering, you know, are we going to do something cool? Yeah, we're going to destroy a pirate base. Yar. Alright, so we want one, two. We got them all. And we'll just go like this. We will go this. And here we are. We have a make it so without having to pay anything more. Now this thing is going to want to go up to 28 crew. It's actually suggesting 48. The suggestions in the game are a little bit wonky, so we're not going to do that. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the thing. So, bam, we've made it. Here we go with our new ship. Now I am going to continue to call it the Kestrel God. This this shape. The shape I need to do something with it. I need to paint it or something along those lines. Um, because otherwise it just looks wrong. <laughs> uh, we need a little bit more fame to get some more crew on this. So what I'm going to do is the Trodox just going to stay in place now. And we will transfer the necessary crew for the Kestrel to operate and it's going to have the Velociraptor as its protector. Uh, but we also... <laughs> it's just so bad. <laughs> Here's the urethra. <laughs> uh, Alright. We need to set up some things here. We also need to mine some sulfur because otherwise we have no ammo. Uh, speaking of sulfur though, so we're actually going to have that as our sulfur. Now the reason why I'm going with an ammo factory rather than just loading up with um, ammo is because I believe one thing of sulfur creates 20 bullets. So 20 bullet, oh just to double check that, right? Yeah. Um, so, sulfur stacks better than bullets, basically. So, if you have a stock of sulfur, then not only have you got more bullets effectively, they just need to be fabricated, but also they are less explosive. Uh, so, ammo dumps tend to explode, uh, sulfur dumps do not, uh, or at least are less explosive. Now, the other thing that we want to do here is actually set up some crew roles etc so we don't have the appropriate crew, crew roles set up at on this at all now in terms of things we've got two cockpits so these guys this one is just for staffing these two things right that's all the job is going to be i actually don't need to change the crew roles because that'll just prioritize things correctly for me now the next thing i'm going to set up here is that these are in groups of six, right? So two, oh, hang on. I'm gonna go back to this, yep. So two, four, six. Right, so that's all that these guys need to do. Uh, yep. Then these guys are gonna be going to the reactor. All their job is to supply power for whatever the reactor supplies. And then finally, these guys are going to also give power to the reactor as much as possible. But their other job is going to be um, working with this. And this thing wants to output to here, and it's going to input from here. So basically these guys are there to 
to supply the ammo factory. Those are going to be people's jobs. Now, because I've cross-pollinated this one, we're also going to back this up with rolls. And also because at the moment the, the priorities might be a little bit screwy. So, with these guys, uh, I kind of want a door there, I think. That's this kind of weird yoinking thing. Yeah, we're going to add a door to the design. Um, yeah, but crew rolls. So, turn this off and we can do a new roll here. Uh, we're going to call these the power dudes. Um, power logistics. I'm going to set all the default priorities to one so they can do it if they need to, otherwise they don't. Fire extinguisher at 10. Uh, I recommend that fighting fires is the first thing that everyone should do, right? This seems logical to me. Then small shield generators are actually it's going to be its next priority. Because I want to make sure that nothing actually uh, destroys his shields and we end up with the, the main cannon being destroyed. After that, I want it to go and supply batteries to the railgun uh, accelerator. Uh, do I? Now we'll go for six on those, sorry. No, seven on those, my bad. There's our point defense. It's gonna be our six. And then we need them to be supplying our engine room as our eight. And then finally, for activating the hyperdrive, chances are we want to GTFO. So we're going to make that a solid 9 as well. Uh, we also can't run out of power on our cockpits, so we're going to set that roll there as well. If we ever upgrade it, we want that, that to be similar. If we ever get boost for thrusters, then that's probably going to be on par with the engine rooms. Uh, so the boost thrusters will be here and here when we do get them, because that will be a planned upgrade. Um, otherwise, yeah, supply battery, if we ever run with batteries, then uh, we're probably going to want that as a high priority as well. Uh, this sort of stuff, no, not really our thing. This sort of stuff, not really a thing. Oh yeah, we want to make sure that this is always supplied as well, so we're actually going to make that a 9. Because this can actually run through battery like nothing else, right? Now, the next one, and I've just realised I actually need to make this a third assignment. Because um, we want the sensor to always be operative so that it has the range to shoot things. Uh, so yeah, you're not actually going to be a backup. So we're going to call these... Um, I don't know, they're kind of sensors, but they're also ammo. I'm just going to call them ammo ops, because it's a mix. And what colour? We will go... That colour. They're kind of grey shirts. Set everything to one. Now their priority is going to be operate. You're going to fight fires if you see one. Um, and then the next thing, got that as nine, right? So you're going to want to, before you, you're going to supply ammo before you operate things, because that's top priority. But then you are going to supply sulfur battery so it should be able to grab a battery if it needs it from the main reactor to go 
make that work. I don't believe that these guys will have any other priority. Alright, so we're going to turn them into ammo ops. So these two dudes will basically be loading uh, everything. That should be sufficient. That doesn't fire all that much of a high rate. We'll set our power logistics so they have the right priorities. Uh, these guys are all ops. Uh, these guys... Ooh, maybe you are meant to be ops. Yeah, quite possibly you were. We'll turn you to ammo ops then. Maybe? No. Where's your priorities, man? You haven't got anything selected. Let's just make sure I've got this right. These guys are after these two. They are just overpopulated, maybe? Yeah, I don't think they have a, um, a set role. Here's a power. These are supplying our cockpits. You know what, we'll, uh, give you the same priorities. Now we do need some sulfur. I don't want to waste money on sulfur because it's common as anything. Uh, I believe this place over here will have plenty for our needs as well. And yeah, I am going to paint this ship, alright? It's going to... We'll do something to make it look less phallic. Because that needs to happen. I can't even put spiky things there because the uh, railgun won't allow it. Alright, I'll we'll just speed this up. Now this thing also has the benefit in that it can um, uh, it can hyper jump too. So we'll just get these guys to... So the reason why I set everything to 1 is because while I may not want them to really interrupt things, but it means that they can do, still do general tasks like this basically or general mining sort of tasks. So if I need it to go dismantle a sulfur asteroid, I don't need to get, go get my mining ship to go do that. Alright, we're looking pretty good. We're full on sulfur, I think. Uh, we will pick up some Hyperium as well, if we can mine any of that. Got 18 out of its 40 that it can hold. I can't mine any of that. Here. I really should have just transferred that off to Trodoc rather than more mining, but I will want the Trodoc to hold on to its supply for its own self. Velocity, stop it. Stop hugging the. <laughs> uh, okay. So. I think the first thing that we want to do is a bit of a test on the bounty. So we don't want to shoot it straight at the uh, pirate base in case something goes horribly wrong. But uh, also let me know what you think. Does it deserve to be called the catapult or do we keep it as a kestrel? Um, I'm, I'm considering this is you know, named after a follower on Twitch. I think I should just keep it as the test kestrel. I think it's kind of unfair just because we've changed the kind of the, the ship design and role and purpose that uh, we would change it. So that's my thoughts. We keep it as a Kestrel. Hmm. 
but let me know if you would like me to instead because the tradition is that the class of the ship is uh, I believe it's tradition anyway I've got no real personal knowledge about this uh, but I believe the tradition is that the class of the ship is um, generally the, f the, the first uh, name is class type if that makes sense Now, there were some baddies up here. We do have an unknown signal. Looks like it's something. Uh, it's probably a hyperdrive point. That's a lot of copper. I'm going to need to go up there at some point. Yep. Uh, we do have better sensors now as well. I'm, there we go. Okay, we've got our first candidate here. I'm going to send in the Velociraptor because that Raptor is still going to be our point man. The Kestrel. Now, the other thing that I want to do here is I want to control one and just make you fire on command. Looks like it's coming in hot. So, with any luck, we will get a nice little shot off at this. Uh, it's only a horsefly, so this will be relatively easy to get. Now, the other thing is that we want to set its default engagement range now. That is going to be it. Save attack defaults. And then we'll just send in the Kestrel to get nice and close and hopefully distract it. But, oh, it moved, so we actually ended up blowing off half the its side instead. So that's a bit unfortunate. The Kestrel is now burning to just try and make this guy turn a bit. There we go. Gone. Gone like Donkey Kong. Now the Velocity is just the only one that can actually scavenge here. The uh, Kestrel has no capacity. It's just a built for purpose warship and that's all its purpose is, is to blow other ships up. There is no multi-purpose sort of uh, function here. But the Velocity can transfer, I believe, that Hyperium over to the Kestrel where it will be put to better use and that would mean that its uh, hyperdrives are now fully stocked with Hyperium. Cool. Alright, bounty down. The other thing I want to do though is go avenge my fallen ship. Yep, here there is. We have an incoming contact. I'm going to send the Velocity out. Move the Kestrel in. But the beautiful thing about the Kestrel, or the rail ships in particular, is that uh, it just punches through armor. It's got a very, very high penetration value. So it can go straight for the the, uh, the gooey innards of an enemy ship and really ruin their day. Alright, it looks like we're about to come into sensor range. Here we go. So the one I really want to take out, this is the guy that's going to cause me the grief. So we'll go into range here. I think we might even get a shot off without him seeing us. Alright. We did get a shot off, but we didn't hit the point that we want, and that's now aggroed him. Uh, we're going to do a technique called rail fanning, just to try and get the point where we want. We'll move the velocity in. There we are. Again, we didn't quite get it. We're just going to send in the velociraptor to try and, one, distract them, but also take out that other dude. Uh, we're going to rail fan back the other way. Here it comes. Boom! Straight up the noggin. In the meantime, so you can just target this while this guy just comes in and blows him up from behind. There we go. So what was before a hard fight was just easy. 
easy street now. Velociraptor took a little bit of armor damage, and that's it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to salvage everything here, because we're pretty full already. So I'm just going to set a wreck marker here, and a wreck marker here. Uh, we do have this wreck marker up here as well. In fact, I think the Trodoc, if we once we get some more true, is going to make a trip up here. But yeah, we're just pulling it apart now. Nothing else is happening. All right. It's pretty good. I'm very happy with that. Um, I wonder what the max speed of this ship is. I think the Kestrel can survive on its own. It can run away if nothing else. What I need to do is go back to the station. And then I need the Trodoc to actually recruit some more crew to get back up here. Uh, once I've got a little bit more fame. I also want to pick up the final quest in this area from this station, which is to rescue this station. And we're going to do that using the Kestrel. Talk here, we should get some fame for this. No, we got no fame. We are not famous at all. Uh, that's unfortunate. Alright, so we need the rescue one. We need level 3 missions to make any kind of fame now, it seems. Um, so that also means that we can't get the Trodoc up here. So, Alright, we're just going to go for the rescue mission. Or is it down here? That makes sense send the Kestrel down as well. I do want to know what the so 53 versus 88. Okay, so the Velociraptor is can definitely keep pace with the Kestrel. I was wondering whether or not the bigger thrusters would ca cause a problem or not, but clearly not. Uh, this one should also give me a whole heap of more bounties as well, I believe. Yeah, we've got more stuff there as well. I think those are wrecks that we can harvest. But that's pretty good. I mean, we only shot a few times as well, so our sulfur supplies haven't have been barely dented. Velociraptor can take a station. And off we go. I'm going to try and slow it down uh, next time as well. So you get a good idea of what the shot looks like. Because I realise I'm taking it from the high level sort of view here. Which is uh, not the greatest for you guys when you're trying to see the awesome shots that I'm making. Uh, we are apparently in a target area, uh, so there's a bounty here somewhere. There's a couple of bounties, in fact. Send in the Velocity, and the Kestrel can just kind of sidle in behind. Yep, they are targeting... Ah, uh, no, they're going to target us both. Alright, the Peccadillo, you're stuffed, man. You're picking the wrong ship. Boom. And I, I promised I would slow it down, so let's... Let's do that. I'm going to target the cockpit. And we'll just go down to quarter speed. So the Kestrel, at the moment, we get a couple of shots in it before I think it needs to... Uh, I can't fire again and needs more power. So the, And here comes the shot. We're just going to pause. And here it is. In to smashed it through. Alright, so our wrecks are here, and here, and that was just too easy. The velocity didn't even need to do anything. Now, it's not always going to be that easy, 
obviously. Uh, these are all small ships that we're fighting at the moment. But railguns are awesome. <laughs> I've got an unknown signal that I want to investigate too, but that'll come later. Now, the other thing is, I'm pretty sure, there's actually this weird disincentive, right? So we can't let the station be destroyed. But what we can do is let them beat it up again, a bit. And then we can take parts of the station, we can actually salvage those parts. So there's kind of a, a disincentive to, yeah, you want to get there in time, but you don't want to get there too quickly. In this case, because I've said no cheese, I consider that to be kind of a cheesy strategy. So we are actually going to go in fast and do our best efforts to make sure that everything is kosher. So we've got a point defense platform here. That's not going to be a concern. We do have this guy and he has disruptors. So he's going to be our first target for the Kestrel. The Velocity is just going to chill here while the Kestrel goes in, it should be able to take the shot. Done. All right, one guy down. Uh, same deal here as well. And if this has no cannons, yeah, it's got a couple of cannons, okay. But I think the Velocity can run in and just take care of this guy as well. Um, there's probably not much I want on this, so. I'm okay for a... Um, this guy's in the way. Uh, actually, I want it to go that and kind of rotate a bit. Uh, the Kestrel is just waiting, waiting for you, man. I just smashed it a bit. I think we're going to have to target that. Oh, smashed him again. In the meantime, the Velocity will come in and just kind of kick you from behind. Uh, if the Kestrel can maintain distance and I just offset the target so he doesn't actually destroy this. Uh, no. I'm going to have to go for it. Take the shot, Krunk. Uh, why are our guys not manning the rail? Pull the lever, Kronk! Wrong lever! Uh, I think they've run off to, to take a holiday or something, I don't know what. Um, so let's go check out this crew priorities, right? We're going to make a new roll on the fly here. It's going to go ops. Just go that. Job priorities. Set all to one. Um, you're going to always fight fires first. You are going to want to go operate engine rooms first. And then ammo wise, you're never going to supply it and you're always going to operate. That's the deal. Yeah, for whatever reason, they've decided to wander off and do other stuff. Did we lose a crew member? No, that's not the case. They just thought, ah, oh, we'll, we'll do a supply run, man. We need to grab some beer or something. Uh, unfortunately, that means that this thing... Out its dudes manning your cannons. There we are. Alright, too late. But we saved the station, so that's all that really matters here. And that will give us some frame. We will mark a wreck there because otherwise I might actually lose it. Another dude just passing by. I think I'll want him for the Pirates Hunter quest though. 
you should get a pirate hunter quest, I'm pretty sure. Move you in closer. Move you in closer. Uh, you can repair as well. Okay, so that wasn't as smooth as I was hoping it was going to be. Uh, but we'll grab these. And there's another destroy pirate base quest as well. Which is exactly what we want to see. That's given us a little bit more fame, I believe. We'll be able to talk to these guys, and we can get another crew members. Not much, though. Like, we need more fame to realistically crew the Trodoc, because it needs engine stuff. The only other option would be to ditch the velocity. Uh, velocity, velocity, uh, the Velociraptor. And I'm not sure I'm ready to do that. By not sure, I mean I'm not ready to do that. Uh, where's the... Usually it tells you where the pirate base is. Are they all just saying target the same pirate base? I oh, know it's just a lot closer than I thought it would be. Alright, well, I said I was going to go after a pirate base. The pirate base I actually want to go after is this one over here. So, if I can... I might just... We'll go take out the bounty here and then we'll hyper jump up here with the uh, thingy thing kestrel um, and then the velociraptor will just have to, to hoof it no, I don't want to sell anything on board I'm actually going to use those materials probably because the Velocity is the next ship that we need to upgrade. And it will take a lot more crew members as well, so... Fame is going to be my kind of limiting factor here. Pardon me. Oh, Didn't expect that to be that bad. Sorry, folks. Alright, what do we got? We have a Cutthroat Dude. He indeed looks cutthroat, so if he can get in behind him, great. Otherwise, the Kestrel is just going to yoink him right down the middle. Now, I'm going to try and aim here, so I don't hit the reactor, if at all possible. Uh, yeah, took a decent chunk, but not not the cigar. Uh, if I had, the reason why I want, there we are. The reason why I want boosters is that you could see that we were trying to boost uh, out of the range, but it takes a little bit of time. Wow, that's really ruined his day. It's in pieces. Okay, so the Kestrel is just going to do a hyper jump there. And the Velociraptor will just have to... Oh, hang on. Don't go through the sun, please. But we will watch this. Kind of watch this all kind of spool out. So they're going to bring... Power to the reactors. Power that one up. Oh, yeah, we got incoming, but that's okay. We're going to escape before they get anywhere near us. But oh, we should. Come on, guys. Clock's ticking. Wang. And that's how it works. In the meantime, you can see that. You know, the slow boat has to slow boat. What's this down here? Hey, it's another hyper beacon, that's nice. Not exactly in the really the one the place I want it to be, but that's okay. Now I know the Kestrel is gonna be slower than the velocity, so it can start moving up to where I'm gonna need it to be. and the velocity can come up here. Now, I'm keen to kill, kill a station, not just for the fame, that's useful, but it's not just for that. Oh, where's that? Ah, uh, it's here, yep. 
um, but also because it should give me a ton of resources. So it's probably the quickest way to fill up the control dock at the moment. Okay, so we'll just tell the velocity to take station off the Kestrel again. And here we go. Now usually there's a few pirates hanging around the pirate base as well. So they don't... Uh, yep, here we go. And there'll be a couple of stations. So these three look like stationary targets. And then we've got the other two that are kind of coming out this way. So we will angle the velocity out like this and just try and attract their attention. The station should do it because it should have some kind of sensor array on it you know, so they can see what's incoming and whatnot. All right, we'll slow down. We have the back burner. And yeah, we have two back burners. Um, I want to move along like this, if I can, get his attention. The Kestrel is probably just going to have to go for this guy's reactor. But if I can get the Velociraptor to pay attention to this guy, yep. Grab this guy's attention please, go in and start pew pew. Just get him to swing around this way please. Oh no, you're going to go after the other guy, so that's, that's your mistake man gonna try and try on the kestrel that is a big mistake buddy uh, now because our rail is not quite lined up we just need to angle it we'll angle again cool boom ah oh, we s simultaneous double kill Right, we killed them at the same time. The Velosa, Velossi. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. There's our double wreck all hugging together now. Yeah, clinging for comfort. W W, double W's for double wreck. And then, yeah, the Kestrel is just going to creep up on these guys, and in most cases, they will not have the ranged uh, that I do with the Kestrel. So I just realised that we're at half speed, no wonder we were crawling. Uh, yep, just target that, please. And yeah, they can actually shoot down railguns, which seems like a silly sort of thing, but yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, this has only got cannons, so this is going to be a very short and one-sided fight here. Let's move the Kestro into the position. Assume the position! Oh, he took a hit. That's alright, we got another one coming. Boom. And next up, we'll tell it to go after... Um, I think we're going to have to dig through some armour. It seemed to be rotating to meet me. There we go. Fires don't seem to last past the actual destruction of something as well. Which is kind of nice, but seems a little bit silly. It says if, okay, we destroyed the cockpit, therefore there's no air in there or something. Alright, boom. That is a pirate base down. So, we're just going to mark that as base. And we'll put in some W's here. Cool. Which means the true dock, uh, hopefully the quest was here. Nope, wasn't. Uh, we do have a couple of exploration ones though, some visit, go visit people quests. Um, so it looks like, yeah, it was that station here. We'll just send the Velocity along, go turn those in. 
basically I want some more crew on the Trodoc so that it can go out and um, Let's just check. So these guys, yeah, no longer give me fame. So it's only the destroy pirate bases that will give me fame in this region. That's fine. Uh, we can just mop up basically. And as a, if I can get a working crew on the Prodoc, I'll just be happy enough for them to. Get out and do stuff. We're at 185 now. So if the Trodoc has a chat to these guys. Another seven. Alright, that's going to be a working and workable crew. They're all going to run across now. Start powering up the engines and stuff. Fortunately, I do have the priority sit thing. So they're going to do that all the time. Might want to change that, but it's okay for the time being. Right, so the Trodoc's gonna wander out here so I can pull stuff apart. Uh, the velocity in the meantime can go down. Yeah, we're gonna need to change the priorities here. You can see that the, uh, the engines are running out of power. So, we're just going to send them back to the typical red shirt priorities, which will be good enough for our purposes. Which means they should abandon the laser. Should being an operative. Oh! Oh, hang on. Velocity could be in trouble here. It's not, not designed to take on anything too badass. Just a little fighter ship. Uh, there's some friends around now though, so I think we'll be okay. In the meantime, the Trodoc is really struggling. Uh, what if I just turn you off? There we are, there's another two guys that can supply the engines now. Still popping. <laughs> um, are they possibly trying to supply anything else superfluous? No. So you need more crew to run it. That's alright. We are working on it. That'll give us some money at least. There is a chunk of stuff that we can pick up here. Because they did do some damage to the station. So that's kind of part of the reward of that particular quest type. But the Trodoc is, yeah, it's abysmal. It's shameful again. Shamefully understaffed. If they had a union, they would be uh, really pissed us right now. In fact, let's maybe head back on out there. Because while the Kestrel is a fine, balanced kind of machine in terms of how many crew it needs to operate, it's, you know, requires. The, um, uh, you can turn this back on. Let's turn on one of them. The Velociraptor can kind of get away with a little bit less. So I think we might just throw a few from the Velocity onto the Trodoc. And if I don't actually upgrade the Velociraptor, then it's going to be left behind in the system. I know, it sounds sad. It's been giving us good service and that's how we treat it, but uh, that is the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, so, to the Trodoc, we're going to send half its crew. pick up everything we want. There's a little bit of ammo there. Um, that could have been picked up by the Kestrel, but that's okay that it's wasted. I don't 
really mind too much. All right, Tredok. Disassemble the pirate base. Might turn on the other one of these. Base has lots of goodies. So is there anything I can grab? I can at least help disassemble that fleet. Why they're picking up stuff? Go over here and disassemble it. Lossy, your six crew members can take that apart. Oh, you've already picked up everything, all right. You can go do that one. Uh, those poor crew members left behind once we've deconstructed their ship. They're, uh, they're just waiting for a taxi. Yeah, they'll be fine. Space taxi service will be here. Uh, yeah, this could use a little bit more sulfur, but it's it's fine. It's not doing too bad. Uh, the velocity can actually transfer some goods, I think, as well to the Tridoc. Okay, cool. We have stuff. Now, the other place the Trodoc needed to go was up here, but it's a long way, and I don't like walking. Uh, especially not with the Trodoc. So, what we're going to do is yet another redesign of the Trodoc. I know, it's kind of keep on uh, getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which will have its own problems. Uh, we're going to go into blueprint mode. Nearly forgot about that. And we're going to take off that front armor piece. Now, um, up here, mirror mode, please. Actually, this is where we're going to separate things a little bit more as well. So I'm just going to take this thruster cluster and just kind of move it out here for the time being. We are going to take this forward section here and cut it out and we're gonna move kind of a little bit like that yeah then these two crew quarters will just kind of sit like that and this one will be removed we will need doors uh, still gonna be like that uh, we'll grab the scaffolding move it in like that do this sort of thing maybe a second time so grab it copy Is that a copy yeah paste like that and then maybe some structural sort of elements here yeah yeah okay um now propulsion wise i want it to A standard one here, I think. I'm gonna run a small hyperdrive up here as well. It's 
just going to have some storage. That'll give it some thrust to turn from this position. And it also sh should give us some hyperdrive performance, right? So I can get around. Now it's only at 45% efficiency and we want better than that. So we're also gonna put a pair of hyperdrives uh, down here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure where yet, so. Let's get rid of these armor and the bottom armor as well. Now I don't want it to just end up being a square so we're gonna try and make this into like a shape like this so it kind of becomes a big U like a magnet and then we'll paint it up and then that will be that particular uh, the, the Trodoc. That'll be that particular design done and dusted. I think that actually needs to be like that. Then. So I'm thinking kind of like the Homeworld, you know, advanced super guys, except for it's got a kind of a few things in there. Uh, we've got a space to put something there as well. I'm not sure what it will be. I know as well that I do want to point defense. It's not going to do jack all really if I get anything determined attacking me, but it will help. Uh, I am going to need space for a few other bits and pieces, so the ability for it to be uh, processes and enrich uranium. It might even need to build other things to supply other ships. I'm not certain yet. Um, so to deal with that, I'm actually just going to fill it out by um, uh, actually maybe I'd make it into wings instead because otherwise I've got the reverse thrust sort of thing. Oh, I could put the reverse thrusters up front actually. That would make it a little bit more sense. I don't need big thrusters. I just need thrusters. Yeah, so what if we... Get this sort of thing going on. Right, like that. Instead of uh, something like kind of like this, point defense down one. That sort of thing. That's not efficient provision to the point defense, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I like that better. And then we can have those thrusters just be kind of side and all right do that i did move this down here as well so i'm just thinking for the sake of just mirror it. Might move the reactor so it's like that instead. Therefore these would be like that. Remove that guy. The door. Put a door. Put a door. That way our walkways be like that. I need more crew, I can start filling it there. Uh, hyperdrives. We're gonna be... I 
the right types. There we are. Like that. Dedicated storage for the hyperdrives as well. Now the reactors are probably going to go up like this. So we'll do that. So Hyperion will be stored here. And then it can uh, put all the Hyperion in there. And we've just got the other one up here. I might want another thruster here, ultimately. Uh, we're trying to finish the design, so we might as well do it now, right? Let's do it. We don't have the hyper hypercoils, so no surprises there. Finish this, so once we have the goods. I know I said that I didn't want to walk, but I think that was just mainly, hey, I should finish off the design. Uh, that's going to be like that. Yep. All right. Um, kind of like the idea of this just being recessed like this. Two, three, that's better. Or maybe I'll make a, like a, yeah, that's, that's going to work aesthetically better. Um, Do that, and then that, and that, and that. Cool, that gives it armor everywhere, and it gives us the ability to yoink up some more storage. leave space for factories. Uh, so while we do have space in it, just so it doesn't look weird, we're just gonna mark them out with this. We're gonna need more iron, or steel plates I should say. Uh, we need more coils and, oh no sorry, we need more uranium and we need more hypercoils to finish this off other two things so that's not too bad now recommended crew limits the crew is 49 we're piling this ultimately off 24 I'm pretty happy with that I know that it's not armored in the section uh, the the middle but honestly if this thing ever gets into a fight then it's in trouble right it's uh, if it can't run away if it can't hyper away then it's doomed anyway so the point defense is almost just for show. It's like to make pe people on board feel better about their chances of surviving <laughs> enemy action. Uh, we may end up putting a bigger thruster when we have access to it here as well, but this this is pretty pretty well. I'm happy with this as the Trodoc. I think that'll work well. For the time being though, it is just this flying box. And then we're going to have to paint it as well. We'll, we'll have a stream where we paint it. That, that stream is not today. Uh, mine end. Oh, that's when I finished mining. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, it makes sense to me at least. But it can start heading up there in company with the... Yeah, there we go. We've got our little fleet going along. Uh, thank you very much, Sent Assault. I, I've greatly appreciated. Come back another time, hopefully. If you want to drop me a follow, it's appreciated. Actually, yeah, you followed me this minute. I, I, I should have just uh, checked my activity feed. Have a great day, man. See you next time. Oh, the Velociraptors is caught on an asteroid. This is what happens when you undercrew vessels. <laughs> and it's going to do it again. Oh god. Yeah, it can... Uh... Apparently they don't like being uh, stuck in formation too well. Oh yeah, it, it does not have the crew to keep going. 
I think that's largely down to the priorities here. So we are going to turn them back into red shirts. So they can power the engines. <laughs> Keep up. We are heading for this carbon asteroid first because I did spot it. And then we're going to go after those wrecks because they'll have refined materials and it should be a little bit faster than um, just mining uh, raw resources. Even if there is a giant copper roid staring me in the face, going, mind me. There's a few things out here I want, including a storage pod, which should have good stuff in it. Uh, right, that. Cool, let's go up here. Grab all that stuff. Nice. What's that mean? Have I got crew there that are just chilling out? Let's check the crew count because that looked like people put eight in there and we had six before. Right, they've been there alone, just kind of huddling in this wreck the entire time. Hoping one day I would come and pick them up. Well, today is your lucky day, guys. I promise I totally didn't forget about you. Oh, we've got some uranium here as well. Useless to me now, but uh, in the future it might pay off. Or will pay off. Cool. All right, let's fill up our steel bunkers fairly well. Uh, how are we going on actually making it so? Still need more uranium, refined uranium, that makes sense. I almost want to go get that blueprint. We do have the money for it. Or oh, we're getting close to having the money for it. I've got the diamonds to sell to make sure that we have the money for it. So uh, getting a little bit more find uranium there. Uh, this guy can actually pick up that Hyperium. Is there any more wrecks? There's a couple of wrecks down here. We'll go grab those. And then we're going to go destroy another pirate base, I think. Will be the pirate. Ah. Hello there. There's many things we want here. These bits. Kestrel, could you also use a sulfur asteroid? Copper, when do we want it? Now! Um, more hypercoils. Oh, look, carbon. Always grab the carbon. Carbon means diamonds, diamond means money. I could mine up that, but I don't want to because. I'm kind of sick of mining. So, there's no quest to... I think we'll just escort the Trodoc down to that station. We can swing by this signal that we don't know what it is. What it is. Uh, 
find out what's going on here. It is an asteroid field. Right. And it's got heaps of copper, hyperium. I just saw a little bit of, yeah. No, more copper. It's mainly a copper sort of thing. We have an unknown contact. Copper and hyperium. This is pretty good, really. All right, we're gonna go down there. We actually do have something we can turn in, it seems. We've got guys ahead of us as well, so the Velocity can take off and go after him. The Trodoc's just going to con continue to RTB. What have we got, Velocity? That's a cutthroat. Yeah, they are cutthroat. Um, I don't think there's anything particular, though, that we try and get you to go off to the behind him. The Kestrel will come in and just clean his clock. I'm gonna want to be lined up on that. Yep. Ah, uh, yes, he's realized the greater danger. Smart guy. And our fighter here is just gonna shoot him from behind. chance. Um, I actually need to disassemble him to repair the velocity. Rodox making good time. I'll drop it. Have I emptied this? This is empty. Yeah, he should be he should be able to have enough things in the hold. Let's go to assemble as well, please. Help him break it apart. Now repair, good. Cool, yep, we had enough to pick it apart. These guys can come on back down to the station, which now has the, uh, the benefit of things. And we can also Go pick up what was left over when the, the pirates kind of tore it apart. Things, uh, point defense pla platforms. So they've clearly been busy. Uh, yep, we've got an exploration mission, so it gives us a good reputation at least. Uh, they want us to shoot the monoliths, and I'm not willing to do that. They are in the buying mood for diamonds though, so we might sell them a few. And then I think we can get our next factory. I was thinking processors and X, but now I'm thinking uranium, just because that's what we're low on. So we'll unlock a lot of money, and in our blueprint thing here. We'll just plan for that uranium factory. Which... Where are we going to sit it? That would be kind of a waste of space, I think. So the neatest point would be here, I think. At least give factory bonuses. I don't know how big that processor factory is, but let's hope it's going to fit well thing there. Alright, so we need 91,000 bucks. So that ain't happening anytime soon. Uh, so we've got some work cut out for us for the Kestrel and the Velociraptor to either go get us some salvage or get us some bounties. I'm going to go after this bounty first and then we go for the base. And then we're going to finish the stream because I've just looked at the time and it's time for me to eat. Yeah, we need eats. Eats is good. All right, what have we got? We got a sentinel. This should be a fairly easy target to take out. Come on, man. Are we, are we not in range? Uh, 
now you're shooting. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, uh, that high explosive rocket sucked. Kestrel, please take him out. Run, little guy. What happens when you don't put pelt point defense on? Velocity can keep running, keep running, man. Astro. Shoot him. Got him. All right, Velocity, come back. Man, you got. Wrecked. Specifically pick up these things, because they're their expensive components. you actually repair just straight away. We want you to repair these. Some of your engine to get back. Send me down, go grab the stuff. Started taking this apart? No, not yet. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not picking up HE missile parts. Yuck. up. I'm hoping there will be enough coils to uh, repair everything. Fortunately I can't do the reactor. That's the last thing that we, we needed to do. Uh, I think we can be okay. Just got to keep in mind that uh, the Velocity is not an up to spec ship anymore and it's going to be bad at missiles. So if it sees missiles, it needs to really take it on the shields or run. We will send her in again, but I'm just going to pay attention this time, not take things for granted. Okay, so we've got a large cannon on the front, as well as a couple of lasers off the side. I'm just going to sneak around the back with the Velocity and the Kestrel. Um, I'm going to get here to try and just blow off that laser gun. Uh, a nice try, I guess. Try again. really 
start rail fanning properly. That's in distance. That's bad. Means it's pretty frickin' fast. The Kestrel can't run away fast enough. You know what? We're tanking now on our shields, so if they get through, this is a problem. If they look like they're getting through, we really need to turn. I'm just going to slow down. I think I need it to really angle. There we are. We've got the main weapon down. Now, they have taken out my shields here. So I really want to turn quite badly, quite a lot, rather. In the meantime, take out this guy's engines, please. Two our shields are replenished, we're going to take it on the armor on the sides. Yep, all right, shields are back. Turn around and take down their weapons. Go back to half speed, I think. There we are, that's taken off one of them. Swing back around again. Take out the other one if we can. Probably no point, actually. The velocity is just going to take out the cockpit in a second. Good. Okay. So the Kestrel took a little bit of damage that time. But... But, it did okay, right? The armor did what it's supposed to do, the shields did what they were supposed to do, and I could rotate to just take it a little bit on the chin there. So that's okay. I'm kind of happy with the performance of the Kestrel in that fight. Given that it was never meant to be... It's meant to be a support ship, right? Or it is a support ship. And not a frontliner. Fortunately, we now have got the Velociraptor. Uh, and we can also hand in a bounty. That will give us a bit more credits. Uh, does Velocity has, have its crew? 8 out of 12. Yeah, okay. Kestrel has helped pull it apart. We'll just move it a little bit closer here. Fill up the Velocity with what it can get. Mostly just a few coils. Okay, so the other one was the base. We're going to do the base and then we're going to finish the stream, I think. We don't want him getting too far ahead. Because that cannon guy was able to get through two layers of shields, right? There's a few hostiles up there. Quite a few. Yep. Alright, so it looks like two stationaries. Uh, pardon the pun. Now this guy looks like he's coming in for a bit of a fight, maybe. No, he's slowing down. Just kind of smoothly move the Kestrel in to where it can see them. Alright, here we are. We've got a Renegade. Heap of point defense, two large cannons. The 
Let's see if we can get... Guess we'll just slide in, in here. Oh, hang on. We might have a better target here, the Thrasher. This guy caused us a lot of grief last time. Nearly got him. Lossy is just going to sit here. Nope, nope, it's going to come on in. Just need the Kestrel to fire again, please. Got him. Next up, we are going to go after its ammo banks. The Raptor. Gonna kind of sneak around the side here. Engage its rear end. I reckon it can just do like that. Yep, there we are. Slow down slightly. They are engaging with point defense as well, which is, uh, that's a new one. Oh no, it's just because. Yeah, okay. One velocity. Pump those engines. I don't think its engines are good enough anymore. Not enough max speed. Yeah, okay. Another one bites the dust. Just gonna mark that wreck. Got another unknown contact coming in here. We can repair it, we will, yep. Get the Kestrel coming in for support. And contact. Uh, yeah, again, we got a, a bad guy to, to mess around with, so we're just gonna go straight for the, for the guts. Kestrel, can you just kinda go like that? Not what I was hoping for, but I think I may have just destroyed its ammo dump. So the Kestrel is going to come in and engage its lasers. Yeah, we have destroyed its ammo dump. Uh, it's effectively defanged, really. Go after cockpit instead. This should ruin its day. Whoa! Not quite. Get a few shots. Yeah! Thrasher took it down. Or oh, Velociraptor took it down the Thrasher. Mark a wreck there. Mark a wreck there. Velocity can come in, and the Kestrel can come in, we can repair, Just speed up. Alright, the Kestrel is just going to wipe out these platforms. Koomp. That's how quick it was, you could be dead, just like that. Uh, we'll aim for there. The pirate base bites the dust. Nice. Base. Wreck. 
wreck. Cool. And the Trodoc can have a bit of a chat to them. Say, hey, what's up guys? We just destroyed the pirate bases. 19,000, it's a decent amount of credits and it's a decent amount of fame that we get for that as well. We get an exploration mission out of it too, which is great. Um, and we can hire some more crew, which is always priority when I have undercrewed vessels. So from here, I don't think we're going to have the credits to upgrade the Trodoc, but by looting those places, I've got a good chance of uh, having the Mullah. But it is the end of the stream tonight. I hope you enjoyed this double streaming day. Uh, I will be po posting the full stream on YouTube if you want to go check out the whole thing, if you missed out bits and whatnot. Hang on, I'll just let these guys get on board as well before I run off at the start of the next episode and forget about them. Uh, but yeah, so that is the plan. Um... So, might stream again tomorrow. Uh, I'm really enjoying this game. I really like it. Um, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, I'm taking a cautious approach, but that's because I'm on Admiral difficulty where I'm going to take a lot more damage than the other guy. Uh, so, that's kind of necessary. Um, I need to be smart about my playthrough rather than just kind of yoink in there. Uh, but yeah. In this system, we are going to complete it. We're going to finish off these three target, uh, or four, sorry, bounties. Uh, might as well, while we're here, we'll load up the Trodoc, make sure it's got plenty of supplies, make sure it's upgraded to its next iteration. And probably we'll need to do something with a Velociraptor before either it will be scrapped for parts or it will be upgraded into the Owl class, which is basically a bruiser to go in and uh, kind of disable the enemy um, to take a few hits so that the Kestrel doesn't have to worry so much. I'm kind of glad that I have armored up the Kestrel as well. I know it puts a lot of weight on it, but I think that armor turned out to be useful in the end. Uh, but that's all we have time for today. Hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I have, and I'll see you all in the next stream. Cheers. Peace out.